go over an example when a, a business is trying to decide how much capital, how much labor to use. Uh, we've got the marginal product of labor in this example is, is 10. So that means that whenever you use that, that one more unit of labor, hire one more worker, say, that worker is going to produce 10 units of output. So that's their marginal, that's the additional output, the marginal product of labor. If you were to employ another unit of capital, the marginal product of capital is eight. So you're using one more machine, that machine's going to produce eight more units of output. And then we've got the cost of capital and the cost of labor. So the wage rate, or W here, is the cost of, of adding that, that next worker, that wage rate. It's five dollars, so you're paying five bucks to get that next unit of, of labor to employ that next unit of labor. Using that next unit of capital, you've got a rental rate of, uh, of two dollars. And so, so which should we use? What, what combination should we use uh, so that we're, we're being, uh, as a company, we're operating as efficiently as possible? Uh, so, so let's see, what, what sort of bang for our buck are we getting whenever we employ another unit of labor, whenever we hire another worker. Uh, and, and if we're getting, for that, for adding that additional worker, I mean, we know our marginal product of labor is 10, right? And, uh, and so if we, if we take our wage rate of the five bucks we're gonna have to pay to get them and divide by the 10, if we divide our wages by the marginal product of labor, this says, Five dollars divided by the the, uh, the ten the the ten units the ten additional units we're going to get that should give us fifty cents, right? So that says that the to get that to get that last unit of output to get the very last unit that marginal unit of output it costs us fifty cents. If we were to do the same thing divide the rental rate by the marginal product of capital that says, okay, we're going to spend two bucks and we're going to get eight units of output. And so that last unit of that eighth unit of output cost us 25 cents. So where's, where's the better deal, right? If if you're getting a unit of output, that last unit, and you spent 50 cents to, to get that last unit of output, not quite as good a deal hiring that worker as, if, as, you, as you got for the last unit of capital that you used. The last unit of capital, you added that, that and, and you got that eighth unit here, the eighth unit of output, only cost you 25 cents, half as much. And so, so what should you do as a business? Well, you if you want to increase your output, you need to change the mix of capital and labor you're using. You're spending too much money on this, this last unit, this tenth unit, this, the very last unit that you got. You're, you're spending, you're getting a better deal uh, with, with your capital. You're getting more bang for your 25 cents. With your 25 cents here, you're getting that, that last, that marginal unit, one additional unit here. With 25 cents, you're only getting half of a unit of, of output. Um, and so the business here should take their, uh, they, should, they should take uh, some of their workers, fire them, give them the old, you're fired, uh, send them packing, and they should hire, instead of hiring more laborers, they should hire more capital. They're getting a better deal on the capital. You can also take the reciprocals of these. So if we were to look at the marginal product of labor divided by the wage rate, this means that we're getting 10 units of output for $5. Re reduce this down uh, to two units per dollar, right? And this says that whenever you put a dollar in to, to labor, you're getting two units of output, right? If you were to do the same thing, the marginal product of capital divided by the rental rate, that, that rate that it, like the wage rate here to employ a person, but the rental rate is, is the rate to get that unit of capital, to be able to use that, that unit of capital. 
and that should be 8 divided by 2, two dollars. Reduce that down to 4 to 1. So this says that whenever you're spending that last dollar on, on, uh, on capital, right? whenever you employ capital, you're using capital, you spend a dollar on capital and you get four units of output. Well, whenever you spend a dollar on a worker, you got two units of output. Well, you need to use more capital. You're getting more bang for your buck capital. So either way, either way you, you interpret it, uh, in this situation, we're using the, to be efficient, be as efficient as possible to get the most output using the least amount uh, of inputs, the least amount of money. Uh, you need to, to quit using as much labor and employ more, more capital.